Hey LHS, I'm Kobe here with your Blue Devil News. NHS shirts are on sale until December 15th. Short sleeves are $12 and long is $15. Freshman class t-shirts are on sale now through next Friday, December 11th at the bank. 13 for short and 16 for long. Senior shirts are on sale at the bank as well until the end of the semester for $15. They have the design posted at the bank. Student council members, go ahead and clear your calendar for Monday. You have a Christmas party. Today is the last day to support youth and government through Chick-fil-A. Make sure to mention them when you purchase your food. Part of the proceeds will go to them. If you want to be a part of youth and government, come to Mr. Wilson's room after school today. If you are a student of his, of his, remember you can get extra credit for attending. This is for either semester. You also only have a few weeks to purchase yearbooks for $70. After Christmas, they will go up to $80. The last remaining Straight Outta Lebanon shirts are on sale in the cafe for $10. Get yours before they're all gone. Exams are approaching. Remember, you can only have three or fewer excused absences and you must have a 90 or above. Be sure you are up to date on absences and notes for those absences. The final exam schedule has been released with each exam block being 90 minutes. There is an exam scheduled for each day. First will test Wednesday afternoon, December 16th. Third and fourth will test the morning of December 17th. And second will test on Friday, December 18th. The schedule is posted on the TVs and in the commons area. Let's check in with Nicole to see about some community events. Hey LHS, I'm Nicole here with your community events. The Historic Homes Tour is this Saturday. Visit the Chamber of Commerce on the square or online for details. Also, on Saturday from 5 to 9, you can go to the fairgrounds to hear bluegrass music. The Festival of the Lights is open tonight through Saturday night. There's a cost of $10 per car and the Capitol Theater is showing It's a Wonderful Night next Tuesday at 6.30. Tonight, our girls and boys basketball team plays Mountain Juliet at home. Girls start at 6.30 and boys play right after. Remember, the theme for the student section tonight is America. Come out and support your devils and devilettes. Let's go to Mason and Jackson for more. Hey, Blue Devil fans. I'm Jonathan here with Jackson, and we're bringing you the latest sports news around Lebanon. In basketball news, Kobe Bryant announced Sunday that he'll be retired from the NBA after this season, while NFL player Peyton Manning said he will be playing next season, regardless of what team he plays for. In college football this Saturday, Alabama takes on Florida in the SEC Championship. Number two ranked Alabama is expected to be 18 ranked Florida, while most everyone agrees that both teams have an excellent defense. Bama fans believe it will be an easy win. Kickoff is at 7.30, Monday, January 11th, so you have plenty of time to get ready. Other important games include Michigan State taking on Iowa in the Big Ten and Clemson taking on North Carolina in the ACC Championship. A little closer to home, our basketball team will take on MJ tonight. The boys basketball team is 4-0 and the girls are 4-2. The Devilettes are working hard to improve to 5-2. Mountain Juliet boys are also looking to improve their record. They're known to have a strong defense. Key players to watch out for Mountain Juliet are Tyler Falkenberry and Christian Bell. The Blue Devils have a strong team though. They are quick and aggressive. They play hard. So come out this Friday and watch your Blue Devils take on the Bears. That's all we have for you today. Tune in next time for this week's Sports Preview. Thanks guys. We'll be back to Kobe after this game day video. Friday against Mountain Juliet. We want everybody to come out and support us. Hope to see you there. Hey y'all, it's Morgan here with Bailey and Kendra. We'd like for y'all to come out Friday night at 6.30 and support us, wear red, white, and blue. See y'all there.
Rule number one for the student section, uh, you're going to say it twice after I say it, and it'll be three times total. Rule number two of the student section is that there's not always going to be a theme. But when there is a theme, you need to come and participate. And if there is no theme, then the theme is just always come and wear blue and be loud and proud. Okay, rule number three. We're going to cheer real loud and get real excited about our team, but we're not going to uh, boo the other team or the other cheerleaders, the other dance team, uh, come up with other ways that you want to call them out, but we're not going to boo people. And um, don't call them out by name, don't come out by number. So those are just things we're going to do to try to look a little uh, classier, a little more respectful, but still have a lot of school spirit. Um, also, be careful about language, no profanity. Um, you can shout things like air ball, air ball, whatever. None of those things are going to hurt my feelings. I just don't want you booing people, especially uh, people who are not players. Um, so, there you go. Rule number four. Wear a deodorant. We're going to be really close and no one wants to smell you. Rule number five. This is still school property, so make sure you don't come under the influence of anything. Don't bring anything in. Rule number six, when our boys and girls are shooting free throws, we want to try and be as quiet as possible, really allow them to focus, maybe hold up your little shockers or just some good luck. But when the other team is shooting free throws, we want to get loud, be rowdy, try and distract them so they don't score those points, but just keep it all appropriate. Go. Go. Uh, rule number seven is just be supportive always, and no matter what the game is looking like, no matter what, because y'all really do help us out. Even through tough situations, when we hear y'all yelling and screaming, it just it really picks us up and we really start playing hard. Thanks, Nicole. Hoser participated in the annual Trimmer Tree activity at Cedar slash Quality Nursing Home this past Wednesday after school. A total of seven trees were assembled for the holidays and they delivered student-made holiday cards. This is the about the 10th year that Jose has assisted with decorating the nursing home for the holidays. Beta Club also helped to make and deliver cards to residents. Now for On This Day in History. On This Day in History, in 1818, Illinois was admitted into the Union as the 21st state. In 1989, Bush and Gorbachev announced the end to the Cold War. That's all for today. Have a great weekend. Please come out to the game.